Hello, and thank you for joining today's roundtable. I'm grateful for your participation in this critical discussion about the importance of media coverage in addressing the crisis of missing or murdered indigenous persons and human trafficking. And I am grateful to Secretary Holland for her leadership and partnership in combating this epidemic and for her tireless and passionate efforts to advance public safety in Native communities. We are here today because of the important work of the Not Invisible Act Commission. And we are here today because of the many people who shared very personal, often painful testimonials during field hearings across the country and whose stories inform the Commission's final report. The Department of Justice is committed to honoring those stories through action. One issue that emerged during the Commission's field hearings was a lack of local and national media coverage of cases of missing or murdered Indigenous persons. As we know, public communication, news stories, and social media can be crucial in finding the missing individuals and investigating these cases. That is why, on the report's recommendation, we convened this roundtable to develop best practices and guidelines to aid law enforcement, families, advocates, and journalists when a member of a Native community is reported missing. It is our hope that this convening will strengthen those partnerships which are essential to advancing our shared goal of better protecting people in tribal communities. As we work to confront this crisis, we are continuing to work with tribal leadership and tribal law enforcement to combat the unacceptably high rates of violent crime and drug trafficking in Indian Country. And we are, are using our grant-making capabilities to support tribal justice systems and strengthen law enforcement responses. This month, the Justice Department will award more than $210 million to American Indian and Alaska Native communities through three separate programs to support a wide range of public safety challenges. These funds will go directly to efforts to support tribal safety. They include programs dedicated to reducing domestic violence and sexual violence, supporting victims of crime, and providing resources to law enforcement, tribal youth programs, and treatment programs. I want to reiterate that the Justice Department is committed to ensuring that we provide financial and technical assistance resources to tribes in a way that best addresses their needs. We are grateful to tribes for their continued feedback on how we can improve our grant application and delivery process. Tribal communities deserve safety and they deserve justice. Working together, I'm confident that we can advance those aims. Thank you again for being part of this roundtable.